Yes, welcome to the Monster Energy Supersport TT Race 1 press conference and our top three today in third, Michael Dunlop, second Guy Martin and our winner, Ian Hutchinson. Well, Michael, I know when you were talking to my colleague from Manx Radio TT, Chris Kinley, you were a little bit down about how the race started for you, but uh, a podium at a TT is something to be proud of. Yeah, it was, you know, I mean, it's, we weren't here to finish third. I really wanted to go for the race, and just the first lap, we struggled big time with the back tyre. I don't know why, it was just it was spinning a bit, and uh, we just lost so much in that first lap. I think it was P10 at one stage, and you know what I mean? And uh, we just struggled in the bike. We struggled with the bike as well. We just, for the first couple of laps, the bike's no power on it at all, and then once I got going, I got into my groove, then I was able to keep it going, but just struggled most of the race. When did you get going, in your view? None, none of the race, I don't think, at all, when I look at it. But, you know, I mean, last lap, I started to get back into the whole thing again and uh, just tried to get steady. But, you know, it was too late then. We just lost the race, but the first lap. Purely down to the way the bike was feeling, it was nothing to do with how you were? Oh, well, yeah, obviously it was, you know, I mean, it's my fault because it's me that looks after the bike, so it makes no difference, you know, I mean, it's my fault, it doesn't matter what way I look at it, so uh, definitely I didn't ride hard enough probably in the first lap as well, that didn't help things, but look, you know, I mean, at least I can turn around and say I didn't ride hard enough, I know that, you know, I mean, I'm not going to start blaming bikes or whatever else, I'll, you know, I mean, I'll take the blame for what happened. You're a young man and uh, you're learning lessons and you're still finishing in this room for the press conference because you're on the podium, so you're doing a lot right. Yeah, we're well, not doing enough right enough, I don't think. The way we, you know, I mean, look, we'll have another go at it now in the Superstock race and I'm not, I guess I'll not be hanging back in the first lap anyway. OK, congratulations. Third place for Michael Dunlop in second place. A Guy Martin who seems to come in with a rucksack, with a picnic and... Uh, what else have you got in there? What else have you got in there, Guy? Oh, well, so I was buying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just now uh, emptying the contents. Box of spanners. A box of spanners. I yeah. thought there'd be one of those. Now then, let's just talk about this race. And uh, going back to today coming out of the pits, you obviously had the, the limiter well on after Saturday coming in, but you didn't seem to have it on going out. Oh, well, a simple bike could just... I don't know. I I could reach, I don't know, whatever. You know, we're near the end of the pit lane. I nailed the button going out. Yeah. So I, it obviously didn't kick in, because I won't go in 60 kilometres an hour. Oh, yeah, I mean, I was the same as I used it on Monday. You didn't same. sound happy about Saturday talking to Chris Kinley, though. That seems to still be very much on your mind. Oh, I, yeah. I'm all of a dither. I thought it was yeah, there on Monday now, aren't we? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. It wasn't good enough, really, um, that is race, because, um, you know, you boys did me for 30 seconds, well, not you personally, for speeding in the pit lane. And um, when we come for all the care of asking for certificates for the things and calibration certificates and, you know, the, um, you know, there's got to be a tolerance. And there is none. And I was done for 0.112 of a kilometre an hour. And I thought, yeah, yeah. I didn't tell you at the time. I just thought, noted for future reference. And don't worry, I, I won't forget. Let's talk about today's race then, and it was nip and tuck for quite, well, most of the race with Ian Hutchinson. You seemed yeah. to be getting gains on him, and then he'd gain on you. Yeah, play touchy. Uh, it was within yeah. five seconds sort of the whole race. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, the boys must have been riding well. No, I got a fair bit of clear track, got a few back markers, and I got a few, I think I was getting a bit low on petrol last half, uh, from the bungalow to the start and finish. You, you asked McGuinness, I passed McGuinness, then he had to pass me back again, same as Keith Amar, because the bike was sort of holding back a little bit. But other than that, thing never missed a beat. Mega. You know, it's the boys that built it, it's the same bike what sort of races in World Championships. So it's got the speed and the handling's there. And yeah, it was down to me, really. And I sort of <laughs> let the side down a bit second again. But you know, it'll come, won't it? It'll it's come. Fifth, second place, fourth, third. I know, I know you want that position in the middle, and uh, it, it's coming, isn't it? It's yeah. got to come. You believe it, don't you? And that's the main thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it'd be right, won't it? It'd be right. But yeah, happy enough. You just for, you know, the amount of effort the boys put in, all the mechanics. Um, Wilson and that, boys, you know, mega, mega. If you just, that's the only reason I'm here. If it weren't for them boys, you know, I'd have gone back and, you know, just had a brew and kept out of the way. You know, I'm, not, I just, I'm making a bit of a stand, really, you know, and rightly so as well. It's been noted, but congratulations on your second All place right, today. And our race winner for the Monster Energy Supersport TT Race 1, Ian Hutchinson, and the second win already in the week. <laughs> Yeah.
Your fifth TT win and a rapidly rising total. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I set out really to win a superbike race and a super sport race in the same week this year, and we've achieved that now. So that's uh, one thing that I really wanted to do. But I just uh, enjoy riding the little 600 so much. I ride it week in, week out back home, and uh, we've not had much time on it in practice week this week because I've been concentrating on the superbike. But I just uh, managed to get straight back on where we left off last year, really. Were you able to? I know you were concentrating on the super bike, but at the same time, you must have had faith that the super sport bike was right anyway. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Clive keeps everything how I like it with the bike, and it, it's, you know, just it's the same bike that I rode last year, just brand new, and, you know, it just seems to work, and uh, it, it seems to understand what I need from it. You know, we, we went into the race with a, with a suspension change, which sounds like a ridiculous thing to do, but. He understands so much what I want from a bike, and I told him we could do with a little bit of something changing with the Fox, and he's done it, and it, you know, it just couldn't have been a better bike for me. This time last year, of course, he won two in a day. <laughs> Still on again. Yeah. Um, I'll wait until this afternoon and just... It, just... People in the press office are already talking about Phil McCallum's four wins in 96. I I just want to keep my feet on the ground and start every Same race up. the best I can and you know just I'll just keep doing the best I can and the team are putting the best bike underneath me at the moment so I'll keep paying them back for the hard work they're doing for me. Confidence though just finally must be absolutely soaring right now. You must think every time I go up to Glen Crutchy Road onto that start line there's a real possibility of a win here. Uh, you still stood round a, a lot of threats you know and everyone's trying hard and I'll just keep doing what I can do and hopefully we'll be here again. Ladies and gentlemen, our top three then for the Monster Energy Supersport TT Race 1. In third place, Michael Dunlop. Second place, Guy Martin. And our race winner, second already of the week, it's Ian Hutchinson.